Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT. Yo. I, I was uh, I was looking through uh, Peacock app last night. Yep. Drake won. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. Um, and uh, I saw a show mm-hmm. that I have no interest in watching, but I thought it was it was a very interesting show. So it was a so it's like one of those stupid like uh, bachelor type shows. It's like a lovemaking show. Uh, Degrassi. Y- yes, I, I I thought we're done talking about Raph B, but he brought it up three <laughs> oh, times keep already. Going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's right. talk. Uh, Don't worry about me. And uh, so they take five international soccer stars, like guys who are like in in like Europe, are the Tom Brady. Of sports, right? Like well-known. Ri- I'm getting like, to a point. Like, like Messi. Like no, I don't. I don't Ronaldo, know who they are. Ronaldo. The, I, I'm getting to the point. <laughs> Five guys over there who are super famous, sure. rich, whatever. Okay. They bring them to the United States uh-huh. to go on a dating show. Sounds sloppy. Let's and go. none of the women know who they are. Yeah, that sounds about right. So the. Uh-huh. Uh, but the whole point, I guess, is like, mm. wow, you're really making this interesting I'm not today. To, <laughs> yeah, like, you're really making this interesting. <laughs> so, um, I'm making it interesting. I'm, I'm trying to get to a point, and you're talking about fucking Drake. <laughs> so, you know, it's making it real interesting. Uh, the point this of the is, whole thing is this that. Is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this episode. I do. This is my favorite one so far. Let's keep it going. <laughs> so the point of it is nobody knows who the fuck soccer is, right? Yeah, gotcha. So you. so basically they do this whole show based on the premise of like these chicks don't know who these guys are and they're supposed to be like construction. They try to lie about who they are, right? Yeah. And then, and then they, they yeah. then they interviewed the guy. I like read an article and uh, the guys were like, I hated every second of that. I like being famous. I like being like, they were like, they came over to the U S and they got like their egos hurt because they came over to do a reality show and no one knew who the fuck they were. Now, see, it it depends on who they were. Like you say, you say rich and famous soccer guys. And I named off two. And if it were those two, I would have a hard time believing that any American would know who they're. You say Ronaldo. If you say Messi, if you say Jamie O'Hara, Ryan Babel, Lloyd Jones, Marco Fabian, and Sebastian (laughs) Fossey. I know those guys. I know those guys from 26 in Lexington, man. I met those guys at Cuts and Slices. I swear to God, something. I don't. Who the fuck are those guys? I don't know who those guys are. That's the point. Nobody cares about soccer. If If their name was David Beckham. (laughs) <laughs> right. Uh, Ronaldo, Messi. We know those guys. I don't know any of those names. I don't know nothing. That I'm is sure literally the whole point I'm trying and to I make. And I swear to God, it's like they're probably like millionaires, right? Yes. All of them. Easily. Yeah, they're super rich and Easily. famous in Europe. Yeah. I mean, and hey, what, what can I tell you? <laughs> we don't care about that shit over here. That's my whole point. <laughs> That's my whole point is that it's like you can be in your own area be like super rich and famous and pull pull chicks and like whatever and 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 they and the guys pull are like chicks. the guy literally nice. said he goes so go to america where it's a big old place and no one have a fucking clue who you are i hated every moment of it to be honest it was a disaster yeah. from start to finish and then uh the other dude was nah, like uh well right it's just it's uh it says what do you say he said i had to i had to rely on my personality and I haven't had to do that in a really long time. That's, and I'm like, that's pretty sad. Yo, like, and honestly, it would be look. We're talking about American women here, right? Oh yeah. yeah. So it's just as easy as just like showing them your Zell account or something like that, or like showing them like oh, Zell, <laughs> just like so you're like yeah, this is my house with a pool or some shit. They're obviously not gonna believe you, and then you take them there, and then it's like one. It's a slow burn, but eventually they realize, hold up, this guy's got it. Well, right, but the point of the show was they're trying to be average Joes. I mean, they are average, but even they could have been like, I play soccer, and I would have been like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> An American girl's going to be like, <laughs> yeah, okay, what do you make, like 100000 a year? Oh, you play for the Cowboys? And oh, they're good. like, yeah. He's like, no, I play for Real Madrid, and she's like, what's that? <laughs> oh, so you make like, what, 100 k a year? Except Six- for they make 
tons of it, money. I mean, and yeah, soccer players get played. They're like baseball players because they play so many games and the games are so long and physically taxing. I understand. Whatever. Right, I still, right. I'm not watching it. No, Either, I'm not watching I'm, it all. But, baseball or soccer. Yeah. The whole but, point of it is that like. But all you got to do is a slow burn. Show them, show, them the, show them the price tag. Show, take them out on a nice date. They realize that you got money. It's one of those. Like I almost think that that's more of a, a a better way to to burn it on to him because I don't want a girl to choose me for the money. Well, right, well, right, right. Like, yeah, no, exactly, no. But like, yes, that's yes. But I think those shows are funny when they try to like display people what they aren't, and then they try to like have them find true love, and then like. The guy got his ego hurt, and then I, he... and see, and like, like I just said, we've always discussed like if uh, we had a bunch of money, it would be difficult for you to find somebody who genuinely liked you because you you would always have in the back of your mind of are they just after me for the money or just after me for that fame? So if I could go into a situation, see, and that's the problem is that they're fucking athletes, so they got no personality. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm just keeping it a buck. If they're complaining about actually having to use their personality, come on, fam, you got none. That's the problem. You've been living on your on your talent, and mind you, you have talent, and you've been living off your talent and fame for so long, you forgot how it is to be a human. And you know, right, right. They know they can just show up and have women swoon over them. So honestly, I feel like they should have looked at this as an opportunity to actually find somebody who was interested in them and not have that in the gnawing at, in the back of their mind that this that this chick isn't interesting and interested i think it's a good idea for a show i mean that's just like that secret uh the secret, secret ceo or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like the, treat me like a human treat me well, like you would the, anybody else the you know? funny part is like i watched the trailer mm -hmm. it, like cause it plays automatically when you stop on the show for a second yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh and it was like it was showing the guys he was like oh yeah i'm a I'm in consulting, and the one guy goes, I'm a construction worker, and that show, like, the girl's talking later. She's like, I don't know if I could fall in love with a construction worker. And I was <laughs> like, oh, these, it's, these it's, chicks. She, like, she was thinking dollars, man. That's and, it's so sad. That's sad. And the funny part is, sad to me. they had the money. Yeah. Like, so, and I'm sure, and I'm sure, like, I'm not going to watch the show to find out. No, absolutely But I'm, but I'm sure that there are people in the U.S. who do know who they are. So like like because some people in the US do follow soccer. Yeah, Africans who <laughs> What? <laughs> Why not people from London that live I'm just in the saying East. Africans, they definitely is know. Is soccer super big in Africa? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Every African that I know knows like all the soccer players. And it's just like How why How many Africans do you know? I have known a t you want me to count the like, Africans? Like like how many true people from Africa? Like, all right, I knew this dude named Sunday. He watched soccer. His name was Sunday. I, I knew this I girl like named <laughs> Ongenik. Ongenik. I don't know. I don't know. Some. She had a snap in there. Some. There's a, there's a snap in there. Okay. She watched it. I knew another dude. He knew, like every, I, I swear that every African I've known, they they love it over there. It's a big sport over there. And basketball. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess like. I mean, that's why they say soccer is really popular in like it's in everywhere. like the lower income countries because you just need a ball. Yeah, that's to fair. play it. You know what I mean? Like it's. I mean, honestly, soccer is the world sport. It's probably popular in every other country except for like North America. Yeah, because we're affluent, and we can have the equipment to play other stuff. Like most, like countries mm. that are poor, like you get a ball and you literally say, "Kick it past here, you score." Like people can buy a ball. I think it lies in the fact that America created so many sports. America is the home of basketball, of football, of baseball. I mean, you're yeah. You're we not created wrong. those sports, so of course we put hockey. more folk. I am at Canada. I don't know who created. I don't hockey. know who created hockey, but North I imagine America that, created it. Regardless. I imagine that we put so much focus on those sports that we we're just like f f the other country <laughs> sports. We're gonna concentrate on these because it's making us money here. Our people love it, and we don't care. You know, it's uh, it's almost as like indigenous as like high lie is to like uh to that culture, or right. like right. or, like or that. even cricket to like the British. You know, that's <laughs> right. their creative sport. And they, they appreciate it. it there, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's actually a really good point because, well, it's really funny, too, because, I mean, the NFL's starting to grow. They do a game or two in London, and yeah. they're doing one in Mexico City or whatever. But it, but it's like they make so much money only having America watch it mm -hmm. where, like, 
the soccer teams like Real Madrid and all those, like they make money from the entire world. Yeah. yeah. Like, which is like, yeah. and that's why those franchises are worth so much more money than like an NFL team or yeah. like whatever. It's just insane that, yeah, it is. It's funny. Cause like the world cup happens and the entire world is watching it. But the U S is like, whatever. I've heard people say a lot of times it's like the NBA, are those the best players in the world necessarily? And it's like, it kind of is because everybody imports in, but are there better players out there who never even think about coming to the NBA or they play in their own country who may even be better than like some of the greats we have over here? There may be like a Norwegian Le- LeBron James out there. We don't even well, I mean, know look, about. I mean, look at the guy. What's that guy who's won the MVP? Uh, he's definitely not from the U.S. God dang it. I, I knew his name yeah, earlier until, today. Until, well, right. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but you get these guys who yeah, come yeah, over yeah. from uh, overseas yeah. and they're ridiculous. Yeah. And then like I mean, what's kind of funny, I guess ironic, is like the guys from the U.S. who are no longer cutting it for the NBA go mm-hmm. to the – Go to Europe. Yeah, they go to China to play or some shit. Yeah, you know, it's like, so I don't know how many wrong. LeBron James are hanging out because I think most guys that are LeBron James level realize, like, I can go to the U.S. and become a stupid rich. A millionaire, rich. yeah. Yeah, so, but, but I mean, it's a valid point because some people are like, I don't want to go. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's yeah. going to be the best player in the league no matter what. Mm-hmm. So there's always, like, the best player in the league, but how does he compare to a U.S.? Is he like is he like a Tristan Thompson, or is he like a is he like a LeBron? He, he could be a skip to my Lou, man. There could be an or an Australian skip out there, an Australian white <laughs> an chocolate, an Australian Jordan just hanging out I'm playing with you. Tasmanian Devils. I'm telling you. So, anyways, that's all time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. T N T. Oh yeah.